The Binding of Isaac Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. Crazy bitch. Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied. Grab no. the butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack, Run. trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Right, let's start a new game here. have to be Isaac himself. Let's have a quick look at these controls. Just bought this game off Steam about 10 minutes ago. Uh, looks interesting. It's from a couple of the guys that did Super Meat Boy as well. Same music, so it's probably got to be worth a go. It's dirt cheap as well. What the hell? Must need a gold key. <laughs> it's like Isaac's just firing tea, bo tea balls at the minute. Whoa! The thing worth noting in the game, everything's random. So the room's random, the bosses are random, the enemies, the treasure. So to be honest, to get a gold treasure chest in the second room, I'm guessing we've been extremely fortunate there. <laughs> Game's already crazy. Right, uh, use a bomb. Whoa. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, I can't afford any of this stuff. Let's see if we can come back in a bit. idea what that does. I'm guessing that's the boss door just from looking at it, so uh, might as well come back to that. Whoa, what's this? Well, I used the bean, it looks like he uh, used his gas to poison the boss. Oh, hang on. Use this 
too helpful. I might as well go straight to the boss then. Monstro. Just there, uh, took us back to the first room. Right, let's see if we can get back to the boss room. Oh, I've got to start again. Isaac, we knew we got him here. Christ, that was hard. I was killed by this thing in some basement. I leave all that I owned to my cat, Guppy. Goodbye, cruel world, Isaac. Yeah, I mean, the one thing with this game is it's permadeath, like the old rogue games. So once you die, if you start again, it's start from scratch, right from the beginning of the game. Everything's random again. Uh, like I said, the item, the treasure, so that's us dead. We'll have to start the entire game again. So that'll be episode two. Peace.